I'm going to be talking about how to make an if statement in assembly. If statements are useful for uh, having your program be responsive depending on if a set of conditions are true or false. All right, so let's get started. Um, in my data section, I defined a couple of variables. Uh, one is x and one is y, and I gave them to some random values like the 2 and 50. At the same time, I also made two variables uh, called uh, message 1 and message 2. These will be displayed depending on the result of our um, if statements. All right, so we're going to jump down to the body of our main of our program, which is the text section. That's where our code lives, and we're going to um, say extern uh, printf, which allows us to access the C standard library, so we can print out to the screen, as well as we're going to make our program the main label available externally so that other people can see where our program start. In this case, the operating system will be able to find main and execute it. All right, so let's go ahead and set up our stack frame. All right, so we just set up our stack frame. We create the stack frame and we destroy the stack frame. All right, so now let's actually get into the heart of writing an if statement. And remember, what we basically want to do is uh, pay attention to this pseudocode. We want to say if, let's comment it out. We want to say if x is greater than y, if x is greater than y, then uh, message 1 will be displayed. Else, message 2 will be displayed. All right, so how do we do that? Well, we have to use a compare statement. The compare statement basically does a subtraction between x and y without actually saving the results, but instead it sets a register. And we use that register to determine what the result was by using the conditional jump statement. All right, so we're gonna say compare. Um, actually, first of all, we're gonna have to move uh, one of the two variables into uh, a register because we can't compare two memory locations at the same time. So ex will be uh, the word. Move the value stored in x into ax. Um, and while we're at it, let's go ahead and move um, y into a to bx register. And these are the standard register. Um, here, A is for the accumulation, and B is for, um, uh, I think it's buffer or something like that. They're just generic uh, registers to hold data. And so here, we're basically storing the value of X into here, and storing the value of Y into the BX register. And registers are useful because they're right inside of the CPU. So it's faster to do operations by having values stored in here. All right, so let's go ahead and actually start comparing. So we say compare um, AX with EBX. So this says compare, what is X? X is 32. Um, let's just make X to be 10, just for sake. So um, here, we're going to say 10 is going to be compared with uh, 50. Or rather, 50 is compared to 10, and we're going to say jump if equal, no, jump if greater than to x with y. So jump if greater than x. So this tells us we're going to say jump if greater, jump if x is greater than y. And so we're going to say x is greater than y. And this is going to be a label that we're going to make here in a second. Let's say it's dots. And the dot notation is used to make a local label inside of another label. So in this case, the dots x is a, a label that's local with respect to this main label. It's inside of main. So x greater than y. Uh, we have to always put our colon there and say, now we're going to display the message that we want. We're going to say push the word. 
um, the message was the message one. And then call printf. And then we're going to jump to done. And done is going to be down here. Okay. But, um, but we're only going to jump if x is greater than y. But if it's not, let's, this will be completely ignored and execution will skip from here to right here. And here we're going to say, okay, well, then push the second message, three word. And when we're done calling printf, instead of going to execution over here, we're going to jump to done. We're going to jump to done. And done will be out here and it's just going to return and stop execution. Let's go to the console and go ahead and execute this method. ls slash compile input file name. Okay, so our file name is sm sm2.asm asm. All right. It says that we have a problem, so let's go ahead and come back over here. Put it to Here we're just going to jump, jump to done, and here we're going to say jump to done. So we save that, we come back and try it again. Okay, successfully compiled. So let's try to run our program now. So as it says over here, let's play this and run it again. Um, y is greater than x. The structure of this if statement. So you can basically do a compare statement to compare the two values, okay, of x and y after we move them into a register because we said registers are faster access to the CPU, okay. And then what this translates to here, if jump is greater, this says jump if x over here, which is where x is stored, if x is greater than y, and if it is greater than y, we can do a conditional jump straight to here but if it's not greater than y we're going to skip this conditional jump because it's not true and execute this body um, but then when we're done printing the statement to the screen we jump from here to here if we didn't have the statement everything gets executed for example let's go ahead and comment this line out save our file and execute See, both statements get executed because instead of jumping over here, um, everything got executed. So we have to have that um, uncommented out. Okay, so basic review again. So we moved everything into registers, set up the compare statement, and jump if it's true. Otherwise, if it's not true, everything gets executed up until this point. And when we're done, we just come over here. And uh, remember that I say that you can make a label with a dot label name, and that makes a label local with respect to another label. In this case, these labels are local with respect to the main label. And so, yeah, that's how to make an if statement in assembly. Please remember to rate and subscribe. Thank you.